Okay, so here are some of the common errors that you may come across in terms of um, when you're scripting in Unity. So one of the first things uh, you should do is, in terms of your assets folder, not that this is an error, but you should do is create a folder, and you should call it script or scripts. A sc your scripts folder, okay? Within your scripts folder is where usually you're going to create your script. And uh, for the most part, it's going to be the same way that you've been creating a lot of different objects and so on within um, Unity. Basically, you're going to right mouse click in your, in your uh, <clears throat> folder and then create and select C Sharp script. That creates the script, the beginning of it. But you'll notice it says new behavior script. Obviously, you should rename that, okay, to reflect a little more of what you're trying to to do in terms of your script right so I'll name this hello world all right so again when you name your script don't put any uh, special uh, you know any special characters at all don't put any special character you're gonna use the same naming convention that we talked about is you know um, no um, no spaces between words you know so hello world you notice I camel cased I didn't I could put an underscore if if that works but keep in mind that you don't want to start changing once you and here's another problem is that people will will look at this and then they'll say oh I should put an underscore or maybe I should uh, put a space in between obviously spaces space is no good but here's what I want you to notice. When you select the script right here, you get a little preview of the script in your inspector. And right away, right here, you'll notice it says, hello world. It says in terms of a public class. So this name right here that you see right here, see where I'm circling? This needs to match the name right here. So if I went ahead and started changing what's here, and it doesn't match what's here, you're going to have a problem. Okay, so I'm going to double click on the script to edit the script and it should open in Visual Studio. So it opens up in Visual Studio and as I, as I said before you'll notice it says hello world up here and then hello world right here. These two names need to match. That's a very common thing that I've noticed people do is that they rename it or they forget it, they, they change the name and, they, and then the, the script doesn't work. Okay. Another common error that I see a lot of times is that when people create a, a script, they name the script the same way. So they'll create a new script, and then you'll have another problem there also. You can't have two scripts with the same name. So keep that in mind uh, in terms of um, creating a script. Another thing that happens a lot is that, for instance, um, when you're creating the script, that you're the, one of the things that happens is that when you start writing into the script itself, you don't um, write what you want it to do in the correct order, or not, well, not so much in the correct order, but in the correct place of the script. So for example, um, say that I want this to um, display on my console, hello world, right? So I would go here and start typing in print, which is you know part of an already set command. All right. So theoretically, this seems to be all fine, right? And one of the things you need to notice is that you'll notice right here. Uh, in the um, when you're working with Visual Studio, if you see a little zero, you know, if you see like a zero, uh, that means you haven't saved it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. Command S. Notice now you have a, an X. So that's the other thing you got to make sure to remember to do. So let's see if this is correct. So one of the things I'll do before I go ahead and check it out in Unity, once I typed in, you know, what I needed to type in, I'm going to click Command B or build, 
I'm going to build my project, which is you go up here, build, and then build all. That's your shortcut. And what that does, it builds your uh, script so that it's going to work with Unity. And it checks, at the same time, it checks to see if there's any errors in your script. So if I go back over here to Unity, and then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this script to my, uh, I can add it to any object. It doesn't have to be, a, I could add it to the cube, I could add it to, I'll add it to the main camera for now. When I add it to the camera, notice the other thing that happens is that sometimes um, you, you got to make sure you add the script to the correct object. So I went ahead and added it to the camera here. Uh, notice down at the bottom, see where my cursor is, that there's a script that's been added to it. There's different ways you can add it. You can do add component. See, you look for the script itself that way. But the easiest way is just to click and drag it to the object itself. So now what what it, what should happen is that in the console it should display hello world, right? So then I'll do command P to play, and you'll notice it does show up hello world. So in that sense, okay, the script worked. So let's look at some of the errors that can happen. So we know the script is working. So here's a common error: uh, forgetting to put the semicolon, all right, to close the script, to close this particular. Um, line right here, or, or command. So if I, if, I, um, if I take away the semicolon, you'll notice right away you see a little like wrench or a screwdriver, right? It's telling me that maybe there's a problem there. Now, now let's say I forget to look at that. So remember what I did before I went ahead and tried to work with it? I did command B to test it out. Notice right away what it tells me, semicolon expected. So that's pretty obvious, right, in terms of that error. But you'll see that all the errors that in terms of, uh, in terms of like the suggestions or comments that it throws at you are not going to be very common. They're not going to be very obvious in terms of like, oh, what's that mean? You have to kind of look it up. And we'll talk about that in a, in a few seconds. So pretty obvious. I forgot the semicolon. Boom. Put the semicolon. Notice that the error goes away right after that. I do command B again, and then it tells me build successful. Okay, no problem. The other issue that I see a lot is when you're typing in your commands, what happens sometimes you um, may need to add these curly brace when you're typing in something like an if statement. So for example, if I type in if usually this is how uh, an if statement is built is you have uh, if and then open and close parentheses and then open and close brackets and then the semicolon or actually semicolon within here. So the idea here is that most, as you'll notice right here, most functions which this is a function start right here is a function, right? If is a function, update is a function. Most of these functions will have an open and close parentheses. Then after that, following that, is usually an open and close curly bracket to make this to work to make this work. So then you'll have some type of in some functions you'll have a parameter that you have to type in in here, right? So, um, you know, it could be anything that you, you, you type it within the, the parameters itself. So, like, uh, 3 is equal to, or, oops. So, th 3 is greater than 8. So, we want it in if statement, maybe it's going to check to see if this is true. And if it's true, then we would tell it to print Notice again, what I'm doing right away is I'm opening and closing in terms of my command itself. So you would type in something like that, right? The point is, is that you want to check to see that you have the open and close brackets. Now notice what happens real quick. So I'll do a, a quick build. It says successful. But watch when I forget 
may, maybe I forget the parentheses. Now you do the build. You know, it tells me, okay, you're, it's, that's, that's what is expected. All right? Fine. I'll put, that, I'll put that on there. I'll maybe forget this, the curly brace, to close it, which is very common because here you have an open one and you think this one is going to close it, but it doesn't. And notice, notice what happens right here. So this is important. This is where you kind of get like, oh my God, what, what's going on? You know, it doesn't make sense. Again, you'll notice that you'll notice that we forgot, or I deliberately uh, left out the closing curly brace. So we have the opening, which faces to the left, and then usually the closing curly brace. So th what that happened is that this is your uh, left, and this is the right. So it thinks that this two are working together. You see, these open and closed curly brace. But in actuality, it should be this pairs with this right here. Open and curly uh, braces always pair with each other. Same thing with parentheses. But parentheses are usually easy enough to, to work with because they're right in, usually next to the uh, function. So it's easy to spot. But if you forget an, a curly brace somewhere, whether it's an open or closing, it'll sometimes pair with another curly brace that it's not supposed to pair with. So then look, it's telling me all the way down the bottom that the error is coming from here. You see? When in actuality, the error is up here. So you have to pay attention to that. In terms, so what you, one of the things you could do is you can start, you can go, okay, here, here's my start statement. Here's my opening uh, curly brace. Where should my closing curly brace should be? It should be at the end, right? So here it is. So open, close, one, two. So here's my if statement. I have an open. Oh, where's my close? It should be right after this uh, statement right here, right? So then once I close it, and then I do my uh, command B again, or control B on the PC, you'll notice it, it builds is successful. No problem. The other thing that happens a lot, so again, keep that in mind, the curly braces, count them. Sometimes you'll need to count them. Obviously, notice The other thing you notice, if everything is correct, when I click on this right here, uh, but my opening uh, curly brace is highlighted and so is my closing cu curly brace. So I know that's working correctly. When I get rid of this one and I click it again, it wants to close it all the way down at the bottom. And I know that's incorrect because this right here should be, when I close, when I click on this one, it should highlight this one right here. Opening here, closing here for this whole class. So again, I'm going to close it. Notice when I uh, select the opening curly brace of my if statement, here's my closing uh, uh, curly brace from this, and they're both highlighted. You see? So that's one thing. The other thing that I notice a lot is that uh, sometimes you, like, you're supposed to put if statements, for the most part, within another function, right? It's usually the start function. Or, or any statement. So like this statement right here, let's say the print, uh, hello. I'll put it right here. Notice it gives me a what is called an identifier expected. You're going like, what? What the hell is that? Right? And in actuality, it's kind of hard to, um, to, to figure out what it is that it's telling you. By the way, you can select an error and then click on errors down at the bottom to see what the errors are. You can also, uh, if you want to copy the error, if you're getting the error, you can copy it and then look it up on the internet. So that may be another way to do it. So you can copy it and then look it up on the internet, paste it and see what it tells you. So you can go through, you can uh, do it that way also if you want to uh, look up, if you don't understand what the error is. But again, the important thing is that in this case, it's, you know, it, it, you basically just typed it in in the wrong place, okay? And, and this is how basically for the most part things work. So when you open up um, a script that you're going to use for Unity, it's going to have a class, and you're going to have an open and closed curly brace. So this, I can get rid of all this right here, and it'll still be, there won't be any errors. But this 
is my open and uh, open and closed curly brace. This is a, a, a very legit class, no big deal, right? So then within the body of that, or the block, it's called a block, then I've added a start, or it, it already comes, for the most part, it comes with a start. When you, when you create a, a, a script, it comes with a start and update function. So these functions are basically, you can use them or not use them. You don't have to. But for the most part, you're probably going to use them. The start function means it's going to run one time right at the beginning. And the update function is going to run in terms of number of frames that you have set up uh, in, in, in Unity. So use Unity, Unity is set up for 60 frames per second. So it means it's going to run that function, whatever is in here, 60 times within, uh, within a second. So you got to pay attention where you're putting these particular uh, things that you want it to do. Okay? So anyway, um, I think for the most part, that's usually what you have to pay attention to, is like where you're placing your statements. Make sure you have the, you know, make sure that you have the opening and closing uh, parentheses, opening and closing uh, brackets. So, so if you notice, when I did my if statement, I right away, the first thing I did was type if, open and close parentheses, open and close brackets. Then I went and filled it in. So this way I don't have to worry about that. I'm missing those brackets, those curly brace, because it can get confusing. If you have a lot of these, um, you know, it's when you highlight it, it's gonna, not going to highlight uh, properly. Okay? So keep that in mind in terms of just working with, um, you know, uh, working with uh, the script. I think that's, for the most part, uh, some of the errors that you may have. So again, to recap, make sure that this uh, class name matches your uh, script name. Don't rename. Uh, don't have this. Uh, don't have the scripts with the same names. Uh, you know, pay attention to your parentheses, your brackets. Uh, make sure you're putting uh, your statements, your commands in in the correct. Uh, place in terms of your script um, and for the most part that's you know you'll see a lot of the script you'll be working with um, you know you should be able to modify uh, well enough